What is up, guys? It's your boy Alpha back with another video. Uh, this one is not so much uh, the content that we usually uh, drop on you guys, but it's some exposing. Some exposing of Activision. They have a patent with Google, and it is not good. It makes the excitement of playing games such as Warzone, the Battle Royale, uh, or even multiplayer on Modern Warfare, makes it very watered down, in my opinion. Um, and we're gonna go over exactly why that is and how exactly they go about uh, pairing you with other people in the match. Uh, the devs have been saying it's not SBMM, technically it's not. And we're gonna dive into exactly why uh, it's worse than SBMM and why they haven't been lying to us, uh, but also have been kind of playing us or playing God, if you will. All right, so the first thing that uh, is gonna pop up on your screen right here, no, here uh, is the actual publication of it, it's going to have uh, what the actual patent number is, and it shows that it's active uh, and that Activision slash Blizzard are the ones who own it right now. Uh, and this is on Google Patents websites. If you'd like to follow along, there is a link in the description right below the video. OK, so the first thing we're going to go over is the abstract. The abstract is basically why the patent is in place, what it does or what the goal or objective is for it. And in this case, Activision wants to uh, create microtransactions. So what a microtransaction is, is a skin, um, a vehicle, uh, a weapon purchase, stuff like that. So that's what they want to drive. Um, now that we know what the goal is of this patent, uh, we're going to pick apart how they operate and go about doing so. So the first thing that comes in order uh, on this process is microtransactions, buying things. So say there's player one, right? Player one has uh, a camo skin, right? We'll just be very basic. A camo skin. They want player two to buy this camo skin. So they put player one and player two together, no matter the skill level, uh, they put them together. And so player two will hopefully see this skin and want to buy it even more. And they'll also, 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 they will put player one who is better than player two with this skin so player two sees this person with this skin doing better and it'll make this player two want that skin even more. It's inside this uh, patent. It's very detailed. There's a lot of stuff to read through. I'm not going to go over every single little piece of it. Um, but if you read this patent, it is very devious. OK, so the next thing we're going to talk about is kind of like true SBMM. Um, it has its goods and its bads as a content creator, right? I don't want to always be in sweaty, sweaty lobbies. Uh, but for casual players, like for example, my wife plays these games. Um, it would be miserable for her if she jumped into a lobby where people like me or people like people that are way better than me are just destroying nonstop. So there's kind of two sides to SBMM. It puts people with other people that are, that are, uh, same skill level or, or you know, there's like a coefficient of uh, skill. Uh, this is not that. What we're talking about right now is not true SBMM. Um, this screenshot is from this patent and it talks about SBMM and how it makes it one dimensional. And that's true. I think SBMM is one dimensional um, in the sense that if you get put into, you know, this, this area of high skilled players, you're just gonna be constantly in this area of high skilled players. However, with that said, I still feel like we get put into these same sort of scenarios with this system. So they have they have this thing that they're talking about here, right? Where it doesn't want to be a one dimensional unit, but it still feels like it's one dimensional a lot of the time. Now, the reason I say a lot of the time is because if you are doing poorly, Activision is going to hand you a participation trophy and they're going to put you with easier opponents. Or if you're queuing with randoms, they're going to put you with better teammates. Um, I don't agree with that. I think that is not good for the game. Some other stuff that they do in the same regard is say you're a sniper. They're going to put you in lobbies where there's more people sniping or it's easier to snipe. Uh, if you're a runner gunner, they're going to have you in lobbies where there's people more close range. Um, and they all base this stuff off historical data uh, with what weapons you use, uh, distances you kill people from. Um, I mean, it goes really, really in depth and it doesn't make it for me. It doesn't make it feel organic. I want to be going up against people that are just randomly in there, a, a huge assortment of people that are good, bad, that are up close on me, that like vehicles, um, that like sniping. I don't want to feel like every time I start a game, 
I'm being put into a match uh, where the strings are on my neck and I'm just a little puppet. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is soft reservations. Now, I'm going to paint a picture, all right? You got me, right? You got me. My best friend Jimmy and my best friend Timmy, we always play together every night. I got Timmy with me, but Jimmy doesn't get on. He's got, he's got work. But Jimmy gets off work. Activision knows based off historical data that Jimmy comes over and always joins us every single night. So right when he gets on, even if we're in the middle of a game, it's going to have games lined up that it's already getting ready to pull people in because they're finishing games. You know, they're getting out of like certain situations. It's getting you ready to go into your next best matchup against, you know, 147 other people if you're playing Warzone. Um, and this is going to have whatever skins they want you to buy. Uh, they might use you as a skin that they want somebody else to buy. Uh, it's just, it feels so set up and unorganic. And I really honestly regret reading about this patent and going in depth and quite honestly making this video because I know exactly what goes into each game now. And it just feels like the excitement is missing now. And it just sucks. Right? There are two other things I'd like to touch on. Um, one of them is the quality of the matches. This is another thing that they base how they match you up with other people. Um, I don't know how they figure this out and it's honestly quite creepy. If you see on the screen, it says player psychological state, an example, frustration level and other information. One, how do they figure out if you're frustrated? Do they think that if you leave the match quickly after you die, does that mean you're frustrated? Uh, if you rage quit or leave the match mid game without rage quitting, does that mean that you're frustrated to them? Um, I don't know how they figure out what's good and what's a, a bad match. It says that they base it off of your score, but I mean, there's been many matches where I'm in a game that I get a high score that I didn't enjoy because it was like full of people that I just didn't, it, it just was bad. It was a bad match. Um, so I don't know how they figure that out. There's no ranking system. They don't ask you if you liked the game, uh, at the end of it, like a thumbs up or thumbs down, like some games do. Um, so that's one thing. Another leg of this is they do use your historical data. So, uh, it says, you know, your amount of wins. Um, I don't know if it goes off KD or anything else. It just says examples, but I do know it goes off of your historical data. So there is some sort of leg of skill-based matchmaking here uh but overall it feels like it's a footnote in the patent it feels like it's it's like a on the back burner of what they're doing it seems like they're putting you in there with with certain skins or with the certain intention of seeing you see other people do well with certain things in the hopes that you'll buy them not putting you in a game uh that's going to be competitive or allow you to use all your skill sets. It puts you in a game that they think that you're going to enjoy the most. And that's going to drive sales. All right. Uh, the final nail in the coffin is what is going to show on your screen right now. Um, this basically, I feel it's it's 0035 in the patent. If you're following along, I feel like this encompasses the entire basis of what Activision is about. And look, I get it. It's a business, right? It's made to make money, but let's just read this and this will give just kind of a, a general impression of what this thing's about. So when a player makes a game related purchase, the micro uh, transaction engine may encourage future purchases by matching the player in a gameplay session that will utilize the game related purchase. Doing so may enhance a level of enjoyment by, uh, by the player for the game related purchase which may encourage future purchases. For example, if the player purchased a particular weapon, the microtransaction engine, notice it's not called an SBMM engine, it's called a microtransaction engine, may match the player in a gameplay session in which the particular weapon is highly effective, giving the player an impression, keyword impression, that the particular weapon was a good purchase. This may encourage the player to make future purchases to achieve similar gameplay results. There's a few words in there that are very, very, very telling. Impression. So it's probably not a better weapon. It's probably the fact that Activision put you with someone that's better, that is using that skin or weapon to make you feel 
like you need that that uh skin or weapon so you can do better um i've read this entire thing the entire basis of this patent comes down to this screenshot all right so i'm going to touch on just a, a few final thoughts first off i think participation trophies should never be awarded ever it, you don't progress that way you don't get better that way you get a pat on the back for doing a okay job against people that are not as good as you because the game wants you to feel better about yourself so you'll buy something i think that's completely wrong um this microtransaction engine it feels like a big psychological game and i, I think it's completely wrong it waters down video games it waters down uh, the experience it waters down the excitement that you have to play the game another part that uh, is kind of a big deal especially if you're a creator uh, and you're competitive is tournaments uh how are you supposed to have fair tournaments if you got people that are going into sweat lobbies and you got people that are going into bot lobbies you don't know what activision wants from you that day are they going to put you in front of people that you're better than on the same team are they going to put you in front of people that you're better than in the same lobby? So when they spectate you, they see your gun and your skin and they see that you're destroying. So they want to buy it. Um, vice versa for the other team. Are they going to be put into a sweat lobby where all they're playing against is people with the same KD or higher than them? Uh, so those people that are against them get that good experience as well. I mean, it's uh, it, it just it just turns everything about gaming, especially a battle royale into strings you're a puppet you turn into a puppet for the game that's what it feels like um i don't like it i would much much prefer st straight up normal skill-based matchmaking over this and more so i would rather just have random i get it it's a business doesn't work out as well monetarily but if you're true to your fans especially ones that have been around for a super long time they notice they notice that stuff and uh i just hope maybe this video will reach somebody that can uh, that can have it reach out to a large large audience and this can be more heard and more seen i uh i've seen this a little bit on twitter but it, it seems like most people think that this game is complete sbmm and it is not it is not if you do the research do the reading read through this patent you'll see that and you'll understand why sometimes you have really good games still and other times most of the time if you're if you're playing a lot of this game you're getting in those sweat lobbies and it's it's hard it's hard anyway guys i'm sorry that this video wasn't uh, my usual content it's more of like a like a serious note more informational anyway i love you guys and peace exerto if you're sharing this let the people know